Hey there. When we talk about the ability to keep our mind on one particular subject without distraction, or to engage fully with a specific task or undertaking, uh, we tend to use the term focus. And this, this term focus also has a different meaning. It has one to do with the physical ability to use our eyes so that we can gain a steady, clear vision of something around us. These two are intrinsically linked. Um, we know this to be the case. When we talk to someone, if they start to look around or start to search their environment, we know they've drifted off a little bit. If we ask someone a very serious question that causes them to really engage, they'll fix their vision just for a second while they think of an answer. Someone really focusing or contemplating a a puzzle, a question, or imagining an endeavour will do the same. You can sometimes see this with people listening to classical music or an audio book. They're just looking at middle distance. The opposite, of course, is also true. Uh, if someone's looking all over the place, often they're doing this as they're searching inside. It's as if by searching what's around them, it aids them to search their own consciousness. This musing also seems to have a, a reflection in uh, creative people. You often see the artist looking at anything else and back to the picture while they consider what they're going to do next. The process of dreaming also brings around movement in the eyes, rapid eye movement. So as there's all these exciting things happening in our dreams, our eyes reflect this. As above, so below. But how do we apply this principle so as to be able to improve our focus during our meditation practice uh, or during our life? Well, if we look at ancient tradition, we can see uh, that this principle is well represented. We see in Indian, Oriental and even ancient Greek practices, this idea of navel gazing uh, or sometimes the point three fingers below the navel. This is something that we do during meditation. You fix your gaze to fix your inner gaze. You also see this uh, connected to breathing exercises often, uh, focusing on the tip of the nose, focusing on the nostrils. And other exercises, uh, normally uh, slightly different, but to do with the, the brow or to do with the third eye. Now, during my own practice, I've made my own discoveries and observations uh, as to how this works for me and I'll share them with you now. So when perfecting a particular exercise involves clearing the mind of all thoughts, I started to notice that the best times were times when I noticed more darkness and when I took some time to try to reproduce that particular feel and vision, I realised that when my mind was completely clear, I was looking absolutely straight forwards, just looking at the back of my eyelids. Other times when there was distraction, that's when my eyes would move around uh, because I was imagining things. I also started to notice that during really calm meditations and often meditations involving uh, the breath, I would be focusing on this 
uh, Dantian on this naval kind of area down here. And that during imaginative exercises, when I really want to visualize something, it would be my eyes would be looking up either at the third eye or higher than this. And I found this to be consistent and when consciously amplified, empowering. So just as we have the right posture, everything lined up for our practice, just as we have the right breath, smooth and calm breath, we have our focus in alignment with what we choose to do. Try these different points with your exercises. I believe you will find them a effortless method of improvement because all you've done is line everything up that you want to work together. Now the same is true of life. If you're doing something, remember your vision is very important. Uh, when you're in the middle of a task, you decide to check something, uh, watch a video, social media, your vision changes, your focus changes. And it's the same with the, uh, the concept of multitasking. Fixing your vision will fix your focus. If you want to contemplate a task, look at something that represents it. If you want to plan something, look at the graph that's got the data. Keep the focus to keep the focus. If you're having a phone call, look at something beautiful in the distance while you talk. Don't try to do other things. Don't get distracted by the computer. Your fixed focus, it's good for the eyes, have some nice distance vision, will allow you to fully tune in and understand the subtleties and get the best results for everyone from that phone call. Remember that inner focus and outer focus are one and apply this principle in life on all levels, knowing that it's true for the person you're talking to as well. Make sure that with your gestures, with the visual aid you have, you keep their outer focus to aid them to keep their inner focus. This principle can be implied on many different levels uh, and contemplation and application of it will be a great gift. My name is Martin Fox, and I hope that this video has been of use to anyone who wants to improve their meditation and improve their focus. Until next time, let's make every word, thought and action count.